Hello! In this video we celebrate August. And in August we celebrate ice cream, spider-man, sea serpents, toes and much more. But here's one thing we won't celebrate. Spongebob. No Spongebob. No Spongebob's allowed. Stay away! Ah, leave me alone! Are you ready for it? Hello! My name is TJ, and I'm on a journey to create a habitat for every single month of the year. And this video will be all about all holidays in August. Or at least some of them. I tried to find one specific holiday to make a build for it, but there's just no famous holidays in August. So all I could find was a list with 157 of the most ridiculous holidays. For example, National Panini Month, Hooray for Kids Day, Baby Boomers Recognition Day. Like, what are you supposed to do? Recognize a boomer? Hey, you're a boomer! Holiday completed! National Wiggle Your Toes Day? No Spongebob Day? What even are all of these? Who invented this? So, instead of picking one of these, I'm gonna combine them all into one big summer vacation celebration build. And I sure hope it's gonna turn out well. Here we go. I'll start by introducing you to this guy. We'll call him Andrew. Or Henry. Or Hugh. Michael? Jesus, how many name days are there? Ugh, we'll just stick with Andrew, cause Andrew gets the first of the month. Which makes him special. Okay, so, Andrew here has a big dream. And that is to open up his own ice cream shop, so he can celebrate Soft Ice Cream Day at the end of the month in style. Oh yeah. So, it'll be my goal to fulfill his dream in this habitat. Because I have a vision. I kinda want this to be similar to the first habitat I built for this series. Because for this one, I created an extra outside part attached to the habitat. I really want that for this habitat as well, but then on the opposite side of the stack, and the opposite season, going from winter to summer. So, I'll start with two tan plates right here. What color do we want the ice cream shop to be? I actually love the color scheme of his outfit, so I want these walls to match it. I'll build up the wall with some yellow bricks at first, making sure that the wall on the right is nice and thick to connect these two plates together. I'll incorporate some windows at this side and smash a hole in the wall here for a door. I'll use some jumper plates to be able to place it in the middle and also some on top here to be able to build the wall on top of it later. Now, this was easy so far, so I'm gonna make it more difficult for myself. I'll add a very thin line of azure plates here so that the wall has a little something extra, a little spice. But that basically messes up all plans I had for this. Cause normally wall building is easy, it's just brick on brick on brick, but now I need mathematics. Now I also need plates, but I gotta calculate how many I need to get to the same level as the other habitats. So I've gotta use a mixture of bricks and plates and make sure they're connected well so they don't fall apart, and that is hard. I like it. But I got there in the end, so a nice little challenge. Do you like it, Andrew? Good. Well, all we've gotta do now is build the actual ice cream shop. So, Andrew, put on some strange music on the radio for Strange Music Day and National Radio Day and do some hip-hop dance moves. And I'll get right to it. An ice cream shop needs an ice cream counter. So, with white bricks, we'll build the base of one. With two teal plates and one azure one for that nice blue accent, we'll connect the bricks and create a nice elevated border for this car windshield piece to go on. I think this is the perfect piece to use for an ice cream counter. It's a little bit empty though. So I'll use these modified plates, which always kind of looked like little benches to me. I don't know why, but eh. I'll place them under here and create some ice cream trays. Now, what flavors will we be selling? I think we'll do peach, watermelon, chocolate chip cookie, and mustard? Yeah, there wasn't really anything else. But I'll put this popsicle in here to balance out the mustard ice cream. Okay, Andrew, what do you think? Cool, huh? Wait, wait, what's that? A mosquito! Quick! Smack it for Mosquito Day! Oh, oh great, good. Now we can add another holiday to the roster. Okay, back to it. We just need somewhere to put the money. I'll add two white blocks here that will act as our counter. But where will we get a register from? Oh look, it's Spider-Man. Probably because it's Spider-Man month. And he's holding some loot. Probably because he stopped some thieves before coming here. <laughs> Seems like he enjoys the strange music. Oh, bye! Oh wait, Spider-Man, you forgot your bag! Oh, he's gone. What's actually inside this? Oh, well, that's convenient. Uh, he won't miss it, right? And if he does, it'll be right here if he needs it back. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, the ice cream shop is ready. Just gotta clean the floors and we're ready for some customers. Ready for some customers! 
there's no one. Probably because we're in the middle of nowhere. So let's change that. I'll create a beach for beach day and a sea for world water week. I know this one is a stretch, but shh. Don't mention it, okay? I'll first expand this plate a little bit and put some transparent blue blocks down in a very random pattern to create some waves. The problem is, the sea is a little bit too high. If this were real life, the ice cream shop would be completely flooded. So we need to make the beach a bit higher. I'll use a bunch of plates to create a natural looking slope from the door to the water. This way it looks more realistic. The water line however looks a bit forced though. So I'll place some dots and tiles around this line here to create some sea foam. Cause this looks way better, let's be honest. The beach is starting to look fun, but the sun is hot. So maybe we need some shade here somewhere. So I'll build a palm tree for coconut week. Maybe that should have been the last flavor instead of mustard. Eh. Oh well. I used these round bricks to create the stem. I didn't connect them completely though, only at one side, cause this way I can put some curve into this tree. And for the leaves, I'll just simply use these palm leaves. Obviously. Now we have a problem though. These leaves can't really overlap with this wall. Otherwise, we won't be able to place another habitat on top of here. But I have the solution. So I'll place a jumper plate underneath the palm tree, which will allow it to turn and just nearly pass the wall. Just nearly, but it, it's good enough. It's good enough. Hmm, what more can we add? Maybe a surfboard? Oh look, the beach is actually starting to attract some people. This is Dean. He's got a cool tattoo on his back and he's been walking in the sun all day. So seems like he could use some ice cream. Andrew, it's your first customer. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, let's give him some privacy and work more on the beach. What about a sandcastle for sandcastle day? I can use some arches, some round bricks, some slopes. Oh, it makes it look so cute and petite. We can even add a crab for national crab soup day. A bit morbid, but it works. And look, another visitor. Her name is Angela and she's a single working mother. But she desperately needs a swim after all the working she's done. Be careful for the scary sea serpent though. No, no SpongeBob. Okay, have fun Angela. Let's check on Andrew again. Whoa, that's a lot of ice cream. Great commerce you've done there, buddy. You're such an independent worker. It's becoming a bit of a stretch now. And with that, I think we've incorporated most of the useful holidays in this build. I counted them and I used 28. How many were there again in total? Oh, 157. Okay, I actually did a horrible job, but I am super proud of my build. I love the summer vibes it has, and it really makes me crave for the beach and ice cream. Ugh. Now all we've got to do is add it to the stack. It fits perfectly. Ah, it's so good. Yep, I love the use of that bright yellow because it really stands out now and it screams summer. It looks great. Okay, but with that, the video is done. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like this video. I post monthly habitat videos, so there will be links down below in the description for the other ones I've made. How many times do I have to say it? No, SpongeBob! I've forgotten to give hints in the past videos, but here's a hint to what next month will bring. Can you guess it? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!